Well, welcome back. In this video, we are going to go through how to make a quick and simple Halloween sign. Halloween is just around the corner and it is probably one of my favorite times of year. My whole house is like decorated on the inside and I absolutely love Halloween decorations. So it's a fun way to add a little bit of your style into your house when you're decorating for the season. So to get started, I want a black background. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and just make it the size of your artboard. Um, my artboard right now is an eight by 10. You can make it the size that fits best for you. Um, with vectors especially, you can scale them up to any size that you need, but really, eight by 10 is a good place to start if you're using American sizes. I can't remember off the top of my head what would be a good equivalent to an eight by 10. It may be an A4 or an A5, I can't remember though. The only difference I have noticed when I'm designing, especially because when I sell on Etsy, the A sizes are a little taller than like the American, like five by seven, eight by 10 and 11 by 14. So do keep that in mind if you want to use it as something you're selling on Etsy and you want to include the A sized paper option is that you will need to go in and make sure you can edit the top and bottom to add in any extra details that you're adding in. So like I said, I want to, I want this to be black. So I'm just going to change that color to black. Even though you can't see the stroke, I'm going to turn that off. And then in the layers panel, because I want to make sure that I'm not moving this background at all, I'm just going to go ahead and lock it. And that way I cannot move it. And as you can see, the artboard is a little hard to see because of that dark gray background. So if you ever have that issue, and the top left, click preferences. And then in the drop down, go to user interface and then that top one the background gray level slide it to the right and it will lighten up that background so now you can see the black a lot easier i'm going to be making a pumpkin so using the ellipse tool and then changing the color to an orange i don't want a super bright color and then just making one oval, I'm gonna switch back to the move tool, which is V on your keyboard, or that very top tool on the left toolbar. The next move you can do one of two ways, Command C and Command V to copy and paste. As you can see, it has already appeared over here. I'm just gonna delete this for now. The other way is just to go to your layers panel, click, drag, and then move down to that looks like a piece of paper and select the bottom of the two and then move it to the right. And then I'm just gonna slightly angle it. And I want to change that to a slightly darker color. I want to do the exact same thing. So Command C, Command V just going to drag it behind. And then darken that slightly. I think I want to enlarge this middle one or what will be the middle one. Okay. Select the two most left ovals. I'm just going to go ahead and group them by using Command G, or you could right click group. Same way we've been doing, copy that group, move it to the right, and at the top towards the center, click the flip horizontal button. And you have a good start of a pumpkin. And this is where you can kind of play around and get the shape that you want. I mean, all pumpkins look different. So if you want 
like a tall and thin one or if you want a short and fat pumpkin just get the size and shape that you would like okay so I like that shape and this next step is 100% up to you if you want it great if you don't don't worry about it I'm going to select that first oval hit command C command V move behind and I want to grab that darkest color and darken it even more. I'm just going to make like three copies of that or two copies and all that's doing is adding a little bit of depth to your pumpkin so it looks like it's going all the way around instead of being like flat. Like I said that's completely up to you if you want it if you don't that's fine. So the last thing I want to do is I want to add a stem onto the pumpkin. You can use your pen tool if you would like. You could even play around with the different shapes. I just like to go in and draw it with the vector brush tool. I just find it the easiest to do. And make sure that your color is a stroke and not a fill color. I'm just gonna make this a brown go in and draw the pumpkin stem and I'm going to make the fill and stroke that same brown color move it towards the center and then arrange it between the front ovals and those back ovals So you have your stem. I may actually darken that a little bit. I want to align it horizontally and vertically. So go up towards the top and click what looks a little bit like a graph bar and then align center horizontally and align center vertically. The next thing I want to do is I want to add some text. I just want mine to say trick or treat and For now, I'm leaving off the word or and just doing trick and treat. And I want to change this to something like cursive or like a swirly font. So just go through what you have and find what suits this your design the best. So I like this font. I want to change that to white make sure you have the fill selected and not the stroke and then I'm going to turn it or I'm going to rotate it slightly and then I want to enlarge it I haven't decided yet if I actually want the words to come off the pumpkin I'm thinking I don't okay so I'm fine with that I want to go in with the text tool again and I'm going to use the dash the word or and another dash and I'm just going to put it in between and adjust the size to fit the space so honestly you could keep it that white you could change it to an orange a gray or a black Maybe even that brown color. Let's try that. Um, you know what? I think I just like the white the best. Okay, and to add a little more detail or even depth to the design, I am going to add a little bit of something to the background. If you've watched any of my videos, you already know that I love polka dots, so I'm going to add polka dots to mine. You could go through and add stripes, or if you have any textures, like a grungy texture, that would be really great on this. So I'm going to go in, change this color to like a dark 
gray. Grab the ellipse tool. And I like that color gray. So with the move tool or V and then use the option or alt key on your keyboard, click and drag and just start placing your dots. If you have some that overlap your pumpkin, don't worry about it. We will fix that in a minute. So I'm just going to go through the layers panel, click that first one, hold shift, click the last one, command G to group it, and then just layer it behind the pumpkin and you are all set and you have your very quick and very easy Halloween sign that can be printed at home and placed in your house for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.